Good morning, YouTube. We're evening. It's evening here, so probably evening there. <laughs> Unless you live on the other side of the country, then it's morning. But let's get into it. So far, did a little video of my few SH figure arts figures: Captain America, Hulk, and a few other Hulk and Captain America figures that I did along with in those comparisons. Uh, I decided next to just kind of move move along the line of my newest figures. Maybe there's less videos of those out there already. So that this could give you kind of a heads up of, of what to expect from these figures. Uh, as if you should or should not purchase them. Uh, again, this is kind of a, 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 a kind of a review, not necessarily. I'm not going to go all that in depth over the particular exact figure that I'm going to be reviewing, this Terminator figure, but also a comparison of a few other uh, figures in his little genre. Kind of, it's mostly going to be about him. I don't have too many Arnold Schwarzenegger or Terminator figures to review anyway, so. I guess it will just be about this guy, but anyway, you see here a few others that I'm going to kind of, kind of talk about. But anywho, let's get into it. Uh, Neca is, as far as I know, other than the Kenner guys that came out in 1992 or whatnot. Neca is the only group doing Terminator figures, which is kind of sad. It'd be nice to see different variations of. Uh, different Terminator action figures, but as is, we have the one group doing the one figure. So uh, I don't have a lot to compare him to, but uh, as you can see, we'll start with these little guys back here. Uh, I've been uh, collect these are from 1992. I bought them in 1992. I've been collecting figures most of my life. Uh, what 20, at least 25 plus years. So it was, you know, you start out with action figures, and it's fun over the years to see them evolve, uh, to evolve into different and better figures with better paint and better articulation and uh, more detail. So I was, well, my whole life I've been wanting a six-inch fully posable Terminator figure. I had these guys, loved these guys, played with them so much their arms and faces fell off. Um, so I was pretty stoked to hear about NECA doing a modern Terminator figure. One of my favorite movies, Arnold Schwarzenegger is one of my favorite actors, so this was, this was a must-have. Um, previously NECA has done other Terminator figures, they're more statues, um, so it's nice that they're kind of trying to rectify that by making a full-blown, fully articulated action figure instead of just those half-articulated statues of the Terminator figures they've released a few years ago. They look pretty, but uh, you know they're stuck kind of in one pose for the most part, which is not an action figure. Keyword action. They've got to be able to do stuff. Uh, so that's kind of, we'll get into it, but there's kind of a plus and a minus to that. Um, yes, they added more articulation, but it's certainly not everything I hoped and dreamed of. Doesn't mean it's not an awesome figure, just not as good as I think it probably could have been. So, let's get into it. We'll start with the, the basics. We'll go over his sculpt. Uh, his paintwork and his articulation. Uh, Sculpt-wise, again, he was brought into the six-inch six-inch scale uh, from Kenner's so five-inch. So he fits in all your six-inch. He's a little taller. Uh, six-inch scale figure, six and a half. I think he's probably seven. I should have a ruler, shouldn't I? Yeah, he's uh, he's taller than this pin. I don't know how long pins are. Um, 
but sculpt wise he's he's really well sculpted that's something NECA does proficiently uh, they're just beautiful figures uh, all most all the articulation is pretty well hidden so that it's still a really great looking figure but he also does have some nice articulation um, he's got tons of detail he's got this awesome leather well, it might be plastic, I don't know, or rubber. I mean, for his leather coat. Um, flexible, which is really, really neat. Uh, it doesn't come off. His arms are a sculpted, uh, leathery-looking plastic. So even if he took the coat off somehow, it would be his t-shirt with his leather coat arms, which wouldn't look so great. But it's neat because this, this doesn't hinder articulation, but it's just got a real nice feel to it, a real nice uh, pliable rubber or plastic, who knows what it is. Uh, it's got all the neat little details of his leather coat, it's got a bunch of little bullet holes in it uh, from when the T-1000 pumped him full of lead. Uh, his hair is pretty well sculpted, I mean it looks like T-800's hair in the movie. Uh, he's got these, he's got a few interchangeable heads which we'll go over, the one here, his look from the beginning of the movie when he robbed those poor bikers of all their stuff uh, mine and again I'll go over this a little more later on but I ordered mine on a particularly hot day so I'm assuming that's what it was my but the sunglasses on mine were came were kinda of broken the glasses were broken off from where the little earpiece is so I had to kind of fix that with a hot air dryer and some super glue. That was unfortunate. It just wasn't. Uh, I don't think that's really a quality control thing. I think it was just kind of a. I don't know what happened to mine, but it was a little messed up to begin with. But I fixed it, so no problems there. Um, again, there's, uh, sure the sculpt is great. There's not a ton of detail. I mean, the little details are there. They're nice, but it's just. There's really not a whole lot going on. He's got a real basic t-shirt. He's got kind of a basic leather coat. Basic uh, leather on his arms. Leather pants. Uh, and then the biker boots. Which there's yeah, there's little, little bitty details here and there. But nothing super intricate. It's all pretty simple. Uh, but uh, they nailed his look from the movie. So it's perfect. It's spot on. It looks like how he would walking out that bar before he hops on his motorcycle to save the world if you want to call that what he did say I think the, the world blows up in the Terminator what nukes kill everybody anyway so there's really not a point to the first two movies because things go to shit anyway but they're fun to watch Arnie kicks some butt uh, his paintwork is again not 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 a ton here to paint his shirt his skin tones which which are painted nice I mean, you know it's a nice skin tone it looks like uh, skin texture it's not uh, like a plastic doll looking like some figures out there are it's just it, it looks kind of real life so it's, it's well painted there's no paint blunders anywhere and everything's there's no paint bleeding everything is painted how it is, how it should be, and where it should be, so that's all nice. He's got some paint, some neat little paint work, I guess, and details on his weapons. And on his alternate head, heads, now there's the basic one, which is just blah. I don't, I'll go over this a little in a little bit, but I don't think that looks all that much like an old Schwarzenegger, kind of. Uh, a little more paint work done on the half exposed in the skeleton face after he gets all shot up so those are, those are pretty well painted um, he's got some I guess kind of some uh, paint washing over his clothes there are some different uh, color tones going on there's some browns that are lightly brushed on there to give him kind of a Kind of a worn look, not the cleanest leather clothes in the world, uh, as you can kind of see on his. Uh, the best place is kind of on the front of his legs. 
and it's kind of dark in my video, but you can kind of get a little more light in here. <clears throat> but anyway, it's there. It's hard to see in the video, but he's got some some neat paint applications on his trousers to make them look a little dirtier than they than they probably ought to. Uh, a little bit, I guess, on the on the back of his coat as well. Nothing super fancy. It's all pretty simple. Uh, his articulation. This is really the only downside to this figure. Um, sure, he's got more articulation than the statued figures, which is nice, but he's, he still lacks a lot of movement. Uh, I know, sure, the Terminator probably doesn't go around doing splits and somersaults and karate kicks, but uh, I'd prefer to have those options if I want them. I, I understand that NECA kind of goes the route of making the figures look pretty by giving up some articulation. I wish it would have been the other way around. Because we already have those statues that look very nice and you can't really move them. So why why bother making a an ultimate uh, Terminator figure that's hardly that much different than the ones you've already released? You might as well bite the bullet go the extra steps and make him extremely posable but they didn't uh, he's got very basic articulation which is a shame uh, again his arms basic ball hinge joints they do swivel all the way around they and I don't know if this is hindered because of the sculpt of his leather coat or just because someone said let's give him amazing articulation but let's not really make it amazing articulation in other words his arm barely uh, it doesn't even raise all the way up what good does that do me I can't get his arms all the way up that's a shame no bicep swivel pain in the butt I don't care if his arm can swivel that's that's fantastic I think every figure in the world should have bicep swivel of some sort it just gives so much more articulation and movement that a natural looking person would have. Our arms don't bend at the elbows like this. That'd be extremely painful. Uh, ours bend more at the upper arm or rotate at the upper arm. I think as I'm doing this, I have to look over my arm as I'm moving it. Yeah. Anyway, 90 degree bend at the elbow, which again is nice and all, but that's nothing new. It'd be nice to have at least a double joint in his elbows. Maybe I'm spoiled. Maybe that's it. Marvel Legends have spoiled me. Uh, he should have double, in my opinion, uh, double hinge joints at the elbow and the knee, and he doesn't. He has the only waist articulation he has is a swivel. And that's unfortunate because his chest is pre, it's really hard to tell on video, and but there's, it's kind of pre-posed with a twist in it. It's really strange. So he, he never really has a natural at ease pose. He's always got this weird twist in his torso. Um, but for the, this is my only other little NECA figure to compare him to, is the Dutch from Predator. Uh, Dutch has this kind of mid, let's see, where can you see it? You can see it from back here, I guess. He has this mid-torso joint that he gets tons of movement out of, and he's got the waist joint that rotates and moves a little bit, so he's got some pretty good articulation. The Terminator does not. They decided to opt out of that for whatever reason. It's not my company, I don't know, but I think it's a bad choice limits articulation uh, and in my opinion the less articulation you have the less fun you have who wants an action figure that's no fun not I <clears throat> um, his leg joints are sure a hundred times better than the statues because they move but they're about a hundred times less awesome 
than a well-articulated figure. They move out a little ways. They move side to side pretty well. I mean, that's great. The one thing the Terminator probably isn't going to do is the splits, but yet he can. Uh, they rotate at the upper thigh. 90-ish. Uh, no, not even not even 90 degree bend for the knee, which, which is a shame. Again, not even 90 for either leg. Dumb. He's got rotation at both legs at the knee, and on one leg, he's got rotation at the upper thigh. And then on both legs, again, he's got rotation at... There's kind of this mid-cut. No, wait, that's just for this leg. So this leg has like 30 points of articulation <laughs> for rotation. This leg only has the, the one at the knee and the one at the thigh. This one you get thigh, uh, upper thigh, mid-thigh, knee, shin, and then on both you get foot movement. So someone pointed out, I think, maybe for him sitting on a motorcycle, you get all this extra articulation, which is ridiculous. It doesn't come with a motorcycle. Why would you put articulation in for him to properly sit on a motorcycle? I think that's so stupid. I'd like to slap whoever came up with this. So basically, I can move his leg. I can rotate his, whoop, his foot, his shin, his knee, his mid-thigh, and his upper thigh. I don't, it blows my mind. That's the stupidest thing. No one needs that much rotation. Well, I just, oh, pisses me off. Because here I've been waiting 25 years for an awesome Terminator figure. And as cool as this guy is, not, not as good as he could have been. I think if another company had made him. Um, so anyway, you can get, uh, Pretty pretty standard articulation in his foot, pivots up and down, rotates, and does go side to side a little bit. Um, you can probably hear the disappointment in my voice because, again, I feel like this was one heck of a missed opportunity. Is he going to look great posed on my shelf? Absolutely. Is that what I was hoping for? Absolutely not. Um... He's got a few accessories, his shotgun from when he was on his motorcycle, which is pretty cool. It's a good looking gun. He's got the pistol that he put lots of bullets into lots of kneecaps with, which he doesn't have a holster for this, but it would have been cool, I think, if they put a, a little pistol shaped slot in either the front of his jeans or the back because that's where he carried it so it would have been fun to at least kind of put that somewhere but nope instead I'll lose it so we'll just throw that to the side uh, he comes with his grenade launcher pretty neat little weapon his grenade belt which you pop off his head and you just slide it over his arm and he looks pretty cool sitting on him. I will admit he, he does look cool. Everything about him looks cool, which is nice, I guess. And as I mentioned, I ordered him him on a on a pretty hot day, so it sat out in the mailbox and things got a little warped. The minigun, which is really cool. Until I fix it with a hairdryer, I can't get him to use it because it got all kind of melted the handle warped the uh, whatever you want to call this the barrel part warped the other handle warped so it's in all kinds of disarray uh, attached to a little gun belt that feeds into his ammo bag which again he just holds on his shoulder looks pretty cool holding it I've seen photos not bad pretty cool and you already saw his two extra heads that you just swap out. It's like deja vu. He's like, what the hell? You look like me. Um, I don't know about... 
I heard they had some issues with getting his likeness. I don't know which one of these I think is better or looks better. I kind of kind of leaning towards the Dutch one. This one, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I, I kind of like his face here a little better. Maybe it's the stubble. I don't know. But with his glasses, he looks pretty pretty spot on. Um, that's pretty much my review for the latest NECA Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Uh. What they call him? Not a special edition, but he was the ultimate T800. Not so ultimate, in my opinion. Just okay. Uh, if you've been waiting for an amazing Terminator action figure, so I'd probably pass this one up because he's inevitably going to be sitting on your shelf posed. So you might as well get one of the pre-posed ones that probably looks a little better. Um, and because why not if you've ever wondered what the T-800 would look like with Steve Rogers head there he is so this is what happens when you work out too much kids you lose your neck and you look like this don't look like this don't work out ever we'll put this one on why not Okay, hopefully I've kept my video under 28 minutes, and I have. I've beat my record. Hopefully you kind of enjoyed this kind of review. Um, all you know, of course, everyone gets to make up their own minds, but in my opinion, uh, yes, I'm glad I have it because I don't have any other Terminator action figure of this scale, so it fills that void so yes I'm glad I have it but uh, if you don't really have a need for a Terminator of that scale then I'd probably pass on this guy he's not as ultimate as uh, they might like to make him seem he's just kind of subpar NECA's subpar Terminator dun 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 that's all